<laughs> Hello, Taffy. Hello, Tuba. <laughs> All right, so today we are going to be installing a fan right here. The max air fan, so we can have max airflow. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll be installing it today. My cousin's gonna be helping out. It's kind of scary cutting a hole into your roof. Yeesh. Well, here we go. This will be the last day that it has a empty roof up there. Goodbye, empty roof. Oh, get him. Get him. Ah, ah. Get him, Taffy, get him. Get him. Get your brother. Get him. Ah, ah. Ah. Get him. Get him. Get him. Ah. Quarter. Solar panel will get really good sun. Hello down there, Taffy. Oh, God. No going back. <laughs> Taffy says, I don't like the sawing. Tuba says, oh, I don't care. Somebody sawing into our roof? Oh, oh well. Insulation. My cousin's smart. He marked it for the center because I really wanted it in the center, but we had a feeling something was under there. Sure enough, there's a steel that's why you're able to stand on the roof because there's a nice support so we're going to start cutting into this and hope there's no steel along here as well we think there's one like right here but we think we just right there worries me a little bit but we'll find out Perfect! Woohoo! Yay! I'm gonna have a fan. We're gonna take you to Home Depot, Tuba. Oh, good boy, Potty. Good boy. Oh, well, that was a fake out, but okay. Come on! Come on! Don't be scared. Good boy. Good boy. Come on, Tubes. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Up. Good. Good boy. Go. Here, I'll stand by it. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You can do it. You can jump. Go. You almost did it. Come on. Come on, Tubes. Up. Up. Good boy. Oh, yeah. Good boy. He's like, wait, what the? <laughs> what a good boy. Tubas use you, good boy. Yeah. Here we go. Good boy. Oh. What's going on, handsome? Yeah. What are you smelling? Come on, Tubes. This way. Good boy. Yeah. You got like these things here. Yeah. Oh, that stuff? Yeah. Come on. Good boy. 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 <coughs> Ridiculous how often I lose. Trailer's moving, isn't it? Yeah. What's going on up there? What's going on up there? Oh God, what's going on? Oh. Yeesh. Hi. 
Ay, ay, ay. Better. Well guys, we've got a hole in my roof and we're going to install the fan. Ah! <laughs> I'm going to have two roof, roof lights because this one is see-through so you can see through it as well. How cool. Just relaxing in my bed. Ah, let's look up at the skylight. Hmm. What in the world is going on there? Hmm. That is a huge hole in my roof. So we're not going to be able to wire it because I don't have any 12 volt power to the trailer yet. So I'll have to wire it later, which will be fine. I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll get it figured out. But I don't know if I want to do a uh, power station in here or another battery in here. Or take the battery out of the FJ and install it inside the trailer and then just run a power station in the FJ. It's probably the better bet to do that. Take the main battery out of the, the FJ and put it in the trailer and stuff like that. I think I'll end up going that route. That just requires a little bit more wiring, which is fine. It's not too bad of an issue. It just has to run the, from the battery to the trailer, plug it in so I can charge the battery. But I like being able to charge the battery in the FJ, driving the FJ. Because a lot of times I'm going to leave the camper parked and go drive and go have fun. And I could be charging the battery while doing that. That's why I was tempted to leave the battery in the FJ. Because I only need a battery in here for um, running the fan and some lights. Which doesn't take a lot. So like I could get away with like a 50 amp hour or even a 100 amp hour. A 100 amp hour in here would be perfect. So I'm tempted to buy a cheap one off Amazon. And see if it works and let you guys know because like you can find a hundred amp hour lithium battery for like 200 bucks on amazon i'm just not making enough money to buy one of those right now <laughs> ah, eh, we'll see what happens mm -hmm. look at that <laughs> how cool all right so while my cousin finishes the fan install, I'm going to head off to do DoorDash. <laughs> so yesterday we installed the fan and I actually ended up having to go do DoorDash to make some money and I stayed out really late at night. So I didn't really get to film the finished product, um, but I am going to film it today for you guys. But I am currently heading off to go camp with a friend um and so i will show you it once i'm actually at the camp spot and as you guys know it's not wired in so i can't turn it on i can't show you that cool feature but i'll at least show you that it's done being installed and it looks really good i'm a little worried about the glue it says it can take a couple days for the glue to fully cure and i'm driving and towing it, it scares me a little bit um, that I might mess up the glue, but I'm hoping not. <laughs> Luckily, I have extra, so if I do kind of mess it up for whatever reason, I felt it and it felt still mushy, but I'm hoping the wind isn't too bad on it while driving that it doesn't like, 
I don't think it will. It seemed mushy enough, but we'll see when we get to camp. <laughs> All right, so we're at the camp spot, but let's go check out the Max Air fan. Um, see how it withheld the wind, which I'm pretty sure it did, but let's go see. Ooh, that looks good. And the glue survived. No problems whatsoever. And I haven't even taken off the freaking tape. So let's take off the tape. You ready? We gotta get a close up. Oh, so satisfying. Oh, yeah. Woohoo! Look at that. We did have to cut the roof rack, so I'm gonna have to respray those. There's actually some water in it, which was a little bit scary, so I'm glad I opened that up. But yeah, we'll have to seal this shut too and spray that and maybe grind it down take a grinder to it and just smooth it out a little bit. But I'm not too worried because I think I'm gonna put a box, probably like right here. Um, most likely maybe the Starlink box that I'll put there. And that way I can come up here onto the roof, set up the Starlink and it'll be good to go. But I change my mind all the time. I know I'm gonna put a box here. I might even put the big camping box right here it won't take up too much of my space where I want to sit because I still want to be able to stand up top here and look out and sit up here enjoy you know star watch what the heck is that in the sky somebody's trying to make a little writing in the sky <laughs> I don't know what they're trying to write but they're trying to write something or they're just having fun Oh my God, are they doing a dick? Oh my God. <laughs> I would laugh. No, I don't think that's what they're doing. Okay, what are they doing? What are they making? Hello, Taffy. What are you doing down there? You're all the way down there. Hey, cutie. Bye. Tuba is amazing off leash now. Taffy, of course, is always amazing. He's pooping by the fire pit. What is he doing? <laughs> He's pooping by the fire pit. Yeah, Tuba's been doing amazing off-leash. He does have a little um, training collar, which does sound, vibration, and it does shock too, but I don't, I'm not gonna ever use the shock. Uh, even the vibration scares him, so I just use the sound, and it just goes beep, and it just, it warns him, hey, you've gone too far, come back, but, Honestly, I mean, I can just call him and he listens. Tubes, come on, let's go. Ah, good boy, good boy. Come on, Jeff, let's go. That, the, the training collar is for just in case because he will chase rabbits and once he gets sidetracked though on something, he doesn't stop. Like that's the thing, once he's hyper-focused, he's hyper-focused, so I need that distraction to snap him out of that thought process come on ah but yeah beautiful desert area gorgeous yeah <clears throat> beautiful Happy. Yeah. and beautiful mommy <laughs> they are such good dogs i'm i i lucked out with him it's mate it's amazing how Things happen like that in life, like I'm picking up the trailer and then all of a sudden he pops up into my life. It was perfect timing, meant to be. Yep. Good babies. Such good babies. Beautiful. Dang. Check that out. Oh my gosh. That is gorgeous. What a gorgeous view. Wow. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> Once we left, we found it harder and harder to slow down. Because we set out to walk a thousand good miles from our hometown. A thousand
thousand.